Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time you happen to be tuning in to watch this nonsense. Do you remember this? This was the last video that I put up. Oh, yes. Result. By the way, someone noticed <laughs> my little my little lambic glass. It's not it's a goes glass and I should be filling it up and just drinking it down as if it's going out of fashion because after publishing this video oh this is live but it's not heranos.co.uk it is heranas.co.uk even though that bit still says heranos and even if we scroll down we still find our address heranas .co.uk Oh and um Hiranos.co.uk So phone nominate I had a look at had a look at the who is data for Heranas exactly the same Registered by two cows, um, DNS provided by Google, and the shop is on um, Shopify. Same for this particular Hiranos. So what to do? I spent two hours yesterday talking to, well I say talking to, I mean via email and their online chat to Shopify about both of these domains. I've said, look, you, you've, oh yeah, sorry, let me, let me backtrack a little bit, very briefly. I spoke to Nominet. I actually spoke to a person, a real person at Nominet, who was really helpful. And what you've got to understand is how these things work is, you have the name, you have the domain name. And Nominet are responsible for issuing those names. So anything that ends in .uk is down to Nominet, okay? They're an organisation that took over in 1996 from what used to be called the Naming Committee. Um, anyone who knows some of my old uh, activities will know that I've been involved with the internet since oh 1994 uh, originally i set up the nhs drug and alcohol network but that's a long story and then started a business anyway i know a bit about the internet so they they manage the domain name but then other people do all the maintenance of it so tell the world where to go if you want a website tell the world what to do if you want an email that's what's called the domain name server system right the dns this is what google are currently providing for this lot that's that bit down there and then the domain itself is kind of looked after so you nominate just look after the name itself they don't do anything with it at all your other organizations and this is one of them uh, two cows, they're about as crap as another one in the UK called 123 Reg. <sighs> Sorry, there's a bit of dust on my camera. Um, and what they then do is publish the information to say, go here to look for information on what to do it, do with it, etc. Anyway, it, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. What Nominet told me was, they didn't suspend the domain. The domain was suspended by two cows after Shopify had said they couldn't verify the user's details. 
That will have been, no doubt, due to a number of people contacting Shopify who have bought off of Hiranos, Hiranas, Big Anus, Hairy Anus, Hairy whatever this company's called next, or the actual website's called next. The actual website was, was still the same. Standard website, you upload it to different servers, it all looks the same, but with a different name at the front of it. So Nominet didn't do anything, Action Fraud didn't do anything, the National Cyber Crime Security Centre didn't do anything, Companies House didn't do anything, the police didn't do anything, nobody in the UK has done anything. This was suspended because Shopify told two cows that they couldn't verify the owner. Nothing happened in the UK. Nothing at all has happened in the UK. I'm just going to put I'm just going to put this little thing in now from from Quasi Quarte who was saying there's absolutely no no you know there's no problem with fraud. Oh, actually, no, there's no fraud. There's no I don't, I don't know. Not fraud. Not fraud. Not fraud. 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 Not fraud. 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 Not fraud. 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 Not fraud. Not fraud. Right, there you go. Um, so anyway, I spent mostly two hours, two and a half hours, contacting Shopify. Absolute waste of fucking time. Really. Absolute waste of time. Why? All they do is they say, well, you've got to go and fill in this form. And then they give you a link to fill in a completely irrelevant form. And they say, well, you need to go and generate a PIN number so we can talk to you. Otherwise, we can't bring your account up. And I ain't got an account. I don't want an account. I'm trying to report a scam and a fraud to you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reaching out. Oh, I love Americans. Thank you for reaching out. We take this sort of thing really, really seriously. No, we don't. No, we don't. Not really. We don't really care. We just want the fucking money. Actually, that's not American, is it? We just want your fucking bucks, bud. Guess your fucking bucks. We want your bucks in a bank. Scam? Fuck you, motherfucker. Never lie me, motherfucker. So, sorry, got a bit carried away there. So nothing is happening. Heranos, heranas, hairy ass. Nothing is happening. Nothing. There's a bit of a dodgy geezer walking up the street there. Look. Where's he going? Fuck you looking for? Anyway, I'll keep an eye on him. Um, right, so nothing's happening. So there's now these other two sites, which are starting to get listed by Google, obviously. So it looks like the whole thing's carrying on. What am I going to do? Nothing. I've spent too much time on this. I'm already exhausted for other things. I'm still feeling like shit. I'm not going to do anything. I've done I have done what I think is reasonable to do. All the stuff I did with UK agencies over the last month has come to nothing. Absolutely nothing. HMRC, action fraud, police, nothing. Nothing has happened. Not a fucking sausage has happened. And all that time, people are losing money. People are buying things from that site and they're losing money. And those two, uh, well, probably two and a half hours trying to get Shopify to understand what I was talking about, impossible, absolutely impossible. They'll only talk to you if you've got an account with them. I don't want an account with you. They'll only act on what they they said this comes under intellectual property no it doesn't it comes under fraud but anyway they haven't got an option for fraud so they, they point you towards filling in a form for intellectual property and then you've got to prove that it's your intellectual property that they've stolen what oh, i'm sorry if i sound frustrated it's because i'm fucking frustrated oh dear that's probably just ruined the sound and it's because I'm and it's because I'm angry and I'm fucking furious. 
that nobody in the UK is doing anything about a UK domain name taking money from UK citizens and it's still got my fucking address on all the bloody websites. Anyway, so that's where we're at. And I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything anymore. That's it. Fuck it. I've had enough. And dodgy geezer's walking this way now. So I'll probably finish the... Uh... Is he going to come in here? I don't know what he thinks he's doing. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know what he's doing. I don't care. I'll go out there with a sledgehammer in a minute if he gets a bit iffy. No, I won't. I have to take my take my fury out on something else. But this, you know, if you're British, you should be ashamed. I am. I'm absolutely fucking ashamed. I'm really ashamed that that nothing is happening after all of the the various communications I've made after all the reports. Nothing, nothing is happening. That wasn't a result of anything in the UK. Sorry, that's 11 minutes of your life I've just ruined. But there's, I can't, I haven't got, I haven't got the energy now. I just can't, I can't do anything else now. I am spent. I am. Do you know, I'm trying to find a way of putting some kind of like innuendo in there and it just, you know, it's just not rising to the occasion. But anyway, there you go. So that's that's today's that's today's rather sad and pathetic missive that we haven't got we haven't got any processes in the UK to protect these people. And as I said before, it's the sort of site that will be taking money off poor people. If it was selling wallpaper to Boris Johnson, I wouldn't give a fuck. But it's it's exploiting the desperate nature of of those with not very much money, and that's just that really just makes makes me makes balls my piss really does look i've got an awful lot of other work to be doing so i'm just going to pretend that this all hasn't happened because there's nothing else i can do i've got a sign actually sorry there is something i've got i can do i've made a sign and i've laminated it and i'm going to put it outside let's just say look they're nothing to do with us um and then I've just I've just said, you know, if you're looking for them, hard luck, because they're not here. Report it to Action Fraud. What a fucking waste of time. Uh, watch and share our video, which I'm not sure which video that one was, but... Uh, yeah. So I'm going to stick that outside. And that, then, will be it. I've just realised what the guy walking up and down the road was doing. He was... Um, actually, if I could do it this way, you'll see... He was checking, he was probably a lorry driver, and he's checking to see whether he can get this Arctic up and then along the street and then reverse it into there. That's all he was doing. And those colours fucked up on here. I think it's the sink rate. Anyway, that's what was happening. <sighs> Have a good weekend, boys and girls. Or if you're watching this after the weekend, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we've got Storm EU Nice. Uh, is uh, is currently rampaging around the south. When we had uh, Storm Doodelay in the north, uh, which was just as bad, um, they, they, they warned us that it might be a bit of a problem. Because Storm EU Nice is affecting the south, there's big danger to life, red alert weather warnings, because it's in the south. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make the shit up. 1987, I think it was. The Great Storm. Wow, that weren't the Great Storm. That was a big storm. No, it wasn't. That was the Great Storm. 1987, that weren't. I was in Hastings and someone died when a chimney fell through a hotel. So that's what we've got coming. Storm EU Nice. What's this dickhead doing? You need to drive up. Turn around to the right. Anyway, that's it for now. I've had enough. You can tell I've just I've I'm fucking I've, I've lost it, and I absolutely fucking lost it. I got work to do. <sighs> you take care out there, boys and girls. Whatever you're doing, please do it safely. Be careful where you buy on the internet. Cheers.
not fraud, not fraud, not fraud, 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 not fraud, 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 not fraud, 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 not fraud, not fraud.